what are uh, common causes of atrophic gastritis and what should a person with this condition do to help their body repair? Yes, atrophic gastritis is known to be an autoimmune condition, an autoimmune condition in which <clears throat> the lining cells of the stomach atrophy. That's what atrophic means. Because much of uh, the language, much of the diagnostic nomenclature is just a Greek or Latin word for whatever it is we're observing. In this case, we're observing that the lining of the stomach uh, has atrophy. Uh, that means that magnesium and B complex, especially B12, will not be well absorbed. It means the person won't have enough stomach acid to stimulate uh, digestive juices coming out of the pancreas. It means that the person has an autoimmune condition called pernicious anemia, not just anemia, pernicious anemia. And why did the doctors call it pernicious? Well, because it was a really bad sign. Now, what do you do for someone with atrophic gastritis? You do the LRA by ELISA ACT test. In the best of cases, you do all eight predictive biomarkers and follow the full program. But at a minimum, the LRA test, because pernicious anemia is known to be an autoimmune condition. So you want to restore immune tolerance, and then over six months, see how much repair can happen in the lining cells of the stomach. You want to give L-histidine, a free-form amino acid called L-histidine, the source for the protons that make stomach acid. You want to give 500 to 1,000 milligrams, which is one to two capsules of L-histidine free-form amino acid, about half an hour before each meal, if possible. Because it takes about a half an hour for the amino acid to get into the body and circulate. And when you give the stomach the ability to make stomach acid, it makes a little more. That helps stimulate repair. When you use the C-Cleanse and the full LRA by ELISA Act immune tolerance program, now you can turn the immune system from attacking into defending and repairing, which is what you want. You want to restore tolerance in the immune system. And I've seen many people who were diagnosed with atrophic gastritis or pernicious anemia uh, go on to be vibrantly healthy by renewing and restoring their stomach function over six months using a repair program such as the LRA by ELISA Act test and plan, along with things to boost stomach acid physiologically, like uh, one to two capsules of L-histidine free amino acid 30 minutes before each meal for maybe three to six months and then come back and check with a stool digestive analysis or some other indication of do you have adequate stomach acid or suboptimal inadequate stomach acid. And um, pernicious anemia, atrophic gastritis, is associated with low stomach acid and all the consequences of maldigestion, dysbiosis, uh, enteropathy, etc. And it used to be treated with injections of B12, but now with the dissolve under the tongue forms, say the PERC B12 guard or PERC vessel health guard even better, so that you dissolve under the tongue before swallowing, goes through the brain before the body, and now stimulates both the gut nervous system and the central nervous system to send repair signals. And if you have enough ascorbate, the immune system comes in and says, oh boy, I'm here to repair, kind of like you know the, the good guys coming in to root out the bad guys. The bad guys are the things that cause you to atrophy and deteriorate. The good guys are the things that sustain you and repair you. And we recommend the things that repair and sustain you, including in uh, atrophic gastritis.